Hello everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4 for what should be our last recording session of story mode at least. Don't know if I'm going to keep playing after the story is finished, but today I am like 90% confident that we will in fact be done with the story. Especially because I have like two plus hours to you record. Leave us here. Everyone else will starve because you were too stubborn to refuse father's appointment. Remove us by force and everyone will fear and despise you. I'm afraid you lose either way. Who's that in the control? Father's heir apparent. She made it past your impenetrable defenses. Compose yourself, man. We've always known the risks. We are still in control. That's Lee Everett right there. Whoever that guy is behind him, that's the voice of Lee Everett. He looks old and bald. Alright, how do I solve this little standoff? Oh. Bioscience Terminal. Phase 2 Development. The Homestead Initiative. Behavior Anomaly. I don't know what to do. I guess we'll check whatever this is. I don't feel like reading. Thank god YouTube has a pause button. Didn't I just... Yeah, I just used that. Whoopsies. Okay. I don't know where that got me, but... Maybe we should not go here in power armor. Apparel. Da, da, da. Where is my, uh, whatchamacallit? Here it is. Unfortunately, still the best item in the game. Put on sunglasses for a change. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hostile sensor reading detected. I had to reload first thing, really? Maybe I should get back in the power armor. Look how dirty that scope is. It's almost like shitty mold around it. Wow, that was terrible of me. Only 43%, come on. Give me better odds than that. I must end your existence. Why is there a thing right there? I'm going to see if I can do this without killing any of like... Without killing what's his name. Just the Sims. Thank you kindly. There's Lee Everett right there. Max Loken. It's over, Dr. Higgs. What do you plan to do now? Kill us and take the key? Go on then. Prove how right we were. You're beaten, Dr. Higgs. Your plan failed. Now open the door. No. I refuse. Now do your worst. Enough. Have you lost your mind, Lawrence? I'll do it. I'll 
I'll open the door. Max, no! It's over, Lawrence. And you're a fool if you can't see that. Now, unless you intend to shoot me, please stand aside while I put an end to this. Future generations will remember this decision, Max. I'll make sure of it. Well, thank you, Lee. I appreciate it. I don't think I ever looted this guy. Yeah. Gotta take them bullets. Come on, open up. Don't have all day. Gotta go record Dark Souls 3. We ourselves to quarters until our fate's decided. We can at least face the consequences with our dignity intact. What choice do we have? Alright, there we go. Wasn't that hard of a mission, was it? Nope, only took me like half an hour. Had to kill a ton of robots, went to the glowing sea to talk to Virgil, and now here we are. Completely easy. Who are you? Bravo. I admit I was fearing for the worst, but I can see that I underestimated you. I'm starting to get used to that. I apologize. I won't doubt you again. <laughs> there is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken here. The question of what form it takes is up to you. Um... God, I could execute them. Put them on probation. Limit their access to quarters and non-working areas. That's more than fair. I'll see you to that everyone's notified. I'll take that hollow tape back. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Oh yay, drugs. Thank you. Holy frame rate, wow. Those are some frame rate killing drugs you have there. Jesus. What? Why? Frame rate, please don't leave me. I love you. I'll leave my power armor in the, uh, in the middle of nowhere, as always. Do, do, do. Let's talk to father and maybe end the game. I could get a sword. That would be fun, but I think this is going to be it, guys. This is about to be the end of the game. It's been fun. And again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep playing afterwards. I have to get back to uh, Minecraft story mode and just upload a lot of Dark Souls 3. And that's before Uncharted 4 comes out. So my YouTube schedule is a little bit busy. This could be it, guys. If it is, I want to thank you very much for watching. I think it's been a pretty good playthrough on my part. It took me a while to get my commentary together in this playthrough. The first, like, 20 episodes, I well, didn't have the best commentary. Didn't really know what to talk about, but after that, it started to sink in. I think this has been a pretty damn good playthrough overall, so thank you very much for being a part of it. And let's do this. Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I've already heard the news. But of course, you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now, yes. But... There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute, and to me. You can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Some other treatment that could help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... I kind of want to take off my glasses for this rather emotional scene. 
Hello, Sean. Ah. There you are. I've already heard the news. I'm glad it was. We're all safe. Oops. For now. But mm -hmm. Hallie has always once I'm gone. Sure. Isn't there some other way? Some other treatment that could help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided it wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Mother, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams, I think. I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant. And the future you plan for yourself shifts. Whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Well, um, okay, I got a silver trophy for that. It's called Nuclear Family, and I got a gold trophy called Prepare for the Future, and a lot of XP, obviously. Well, he's gone. There you go. Hmm. Well, I think the ending was a little bit... Maybe a little bit too sudden, I think. I mean... Like, one mission ago, Sean was, like, dying, yeah, but he was still in decent health. The next time, he's in bed, and it's like, yeah, he's dead. I mean, it wasn't a bad ending, it's just a little bit, I think, rushed, and a little bit sudden. And, uh... I have a feeling that cutscene is the end for, like, all four options of the game. I don't think that changes at all. Kind of seems like a generic cutscene to me. But, regardless, very good game. Just a little bit of a rough ending. But it's not Mass Effect 3 levels of bad. Thank you all for watching, guys. And if there is a next time in Fallout 4, I will see you then. Take it easy.